Hello everyone, I'm Dori Horesco with Forever Quilting and welcome back to our free motion quilting challenge, Quilting on the Lines. This is our fifth video in this free series and we're gonna be looking at yet another crosshatch design, triangles. Although this is a simple design because it has more lines crossing over each other at a certain point, it makes it a little bit more challenging, but I think you're gonna love it. First, let's take a look at the travel path. If you've been practicing the diamond crosshatch grid, then you will find that the triangle grid is very similar. Therefore, the instructions for quilting it continuously are very simple. We're gonna stitch in the ditch around the block. Then follow the diagonal lines bouncing off of each ditch. This gets us back down to the opposite corner. From here, we will travel up the side, zigzagging back and forth, quilting the horizontal lines. Be careful when lining up your ruler to stay on the marked lines so that the horizontal lines cross through the X. If not, you may get something like this. Now, if this grid is too small, then use a larger grid by taking one of the diamond stencils and simply quilting a line through the center of each diamond. So fun! Now let's see how this looks when quilting on a domestic or sit-down machine. If you don't want to draw the designs to figure out the travel path, simply use your finger to determine where you will end up. We are starting in the bottom corner because there is a single line coming out of that corner. Remember every time you hit the ditch, you need to pivot or bounce to change directions. Go slowly and try to stitch in the middle of the marked line, crossing that horizontal line as accurately as you can. Once you get all the diagonal lines quilted, you can then quilt the horizontal lines. I do these last so that I can hopefully cross through the center of the diagonal lines. Having these three lines cross at the same point while keeping all the lines straight will take some practice. Even though this traveling path and design is simple, it is probably one of the most challenging designs we will work on because of all the lines needing to cross at the intersection.
As with any new design you try, don't expect it to be perfect the first time. If it is, great, but most of the time it's going to be a little wobbly and maybe a little awkward. Just keep working through it. Keep practicing and eventually the design will get better and better. As you can see here, I'm starting in the opposite corner. Either one of these starting places will work. I find that it is easier to quilt the diagonal lines first Making sure I cross through the center of those marked lines is very important so that the horizontal lines pass through the center. One noticeable difference in this grid, as compared to the diamond grid, is that the spacing is tighter. Therefore, it will take a lot longer to quilt out, but the results are just stunning. What did you think of that design? Did you find it fun? Maybe a little challenging? Let me encourage you to continue practicing. Soon you will see your skills improve. If you did find that a little challenging to stay on the lines or to have those lines cross at that specific point, then let me encourage you to also get a copy of my diamond design books. There are many diamond designs that are also great for triangles. You can avoid the straight lines altogether if you use the triangle grid as a guide for filler designs inside the grid. There are so many options for these stencils. I have another fun design for you, so be sure to come back next time when we will continue quilting on the lines.